everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often for of faith, and oh, what needless pain we bear. Oh, because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Siti aku tinggwa nasibani Ebongo puce sulilanga Yebo aku tinggwa nasiba Nasiba niyo Ngo Buche suli langa Yebo aku Aku tinggwa nasiba Nasiba ni Go Buche suli langa My beloved The most beautiful Among thousands And thousands my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands. My beloved is the Among thousands and thousands is my beloved, the most beautiful among thousands and thousands.
glorify your name. We exalt you, God. Oh, I am a sila maya na mandila rana masaya na na. Irada ba ma 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 shapala na na ba. Open up your mouth and just begin to worship Him in the Holy Ghost. Embrete kosi kale balada mondele bosa. Embrata kapaya na na ma kapala na ya na ba. Arama na mande de boshe de brene ne ne me sheli alaba de mande prodo bosha de brene ne ne balada na rama na kapaya na banda na brane ne ne bo koto melegeli embrata na baya na kapande ne ne bo sheli ati ereti ele be kefele de brene ne ne balade de bo Father we worship you tonight Jesus we worship you Jesus we worship you Jesus we glorify you. Spirit of God, we worship and honor you tonight. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Father. We give you all praise, glory, and honor. And somebody just give Jesus a clap offering. Come on, come on, give him a clap offering. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Father. Blessed be his holy name. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. It's good for us to be in the house of God tonight. Amen. Amen. It's our first day of our seven days of prayer and fasting. Amen. Amen. And I believe that God is shifting you to a new season. And every time you have an opportunity to wait on the Lord, just do it. Because it's always change of seasons for God's people. Fasting is not easy. Our flesh wants to draw us back. But whenever you decide to see God, you know, you, you must know that there, there are things that makes God attracted to a person. You know, uh, God, God, God get, just like you get attracted to people, God get attracted to us. You know that? I hope you know that. I'm telling you, some of us are so attractive to God. And there are things that you have to do to get God attracted to you. You are not hearing me. There are things that you do that makes, just like there are things that make people repel you. Some people, you, you know, you, you look at some people, they repel you or you repel them. Something like that. You, you just don't like their ways. You don't like the things they do. The same way. And when it comes to God, there are things that make God attracted to us. That when God looks at you and says, you know, this is my son. I just love him. I love the way he is. You know, there are people in the Bible, God say they are their friend. Hello? Have you heard the song, I am a friend of God? That, 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 somebody can become God's friend. And, and one of the ways that makes God attracted to a man, in fact, the major way is that you value what God values. When you and God share values, ah, you are ready for anything. When you share the same values as God, you know there are people that don't share God's values. One of God's values is that he regards spiritual things more than natural things. Uh -uh, you are not here now. When you value spiritual things, God, God, because God is a spirit, if you value this fasting more than your food, do you know that in the midst of this church, people are eating? Uh -uh, you are not here. Some, as we are speaking now, some people have... They ate since morning. They've been blowing pap, breakfast, lunch, and dinner while you are waiting on the Lord. It's when we share the same values. When you value things that God values, one of the things God values is wisdom. By wisdom, God founded the earth. If you value wisdom more than money, you didn't hear me. Do you know there are human beings that value money more than God, that more than wisdom? Some people... There are people that value money more than integrity. You and God don't share the same things. But the moment you value what God values, he gets attracted to you. Value spiritual things. Value spiritual things. They are far much more than natural things. When we say fast, we are building muscle in the spirit. Some people will prefer to eat, go to the gym build their muscle, build their natural muscle, but we have decided that in the next seven days, we are building our spiritual muscle. And those are the kind of things that attract God to a man. So please value this fast. Value it. 
value this waiting on the Lord. Because this is a season. You know, the, the, every time a season comes, whenever a new level is coming to you, whenever God places a demand on you to go into a fast or prayer, you know that there is another thing that's about to unlock in the realm of the spirit. And so that's why we value seasons like this. And I want us to begin our prayer immediately. And the first prayer we are going to pray is a prayer of repentance. Somebody say repentance. I never get to a point where I cannot repent before God. Hear me. Let me talk to you about meekness and humility. Humility says I don't know it all and I keep seeking. Meekness says I, I want more of God. Are we together? If you notice in the Bible, um, who are the examples now I can look at? You look at Saul. Let's look at a guy like Saul and David. Okay? Now, you know that David, um, no, let's start with Saul. Saul decided to offer sacrifice before the man of God came. And by the time he finished this, which was not his duty, I rebuke this headache in the name of Jesus. Amen. That's how we deal with things. Amen. As I just came on the altar now, I just, there was, there was a, a funny knock I'm hearing on my head and I, it has to go. Amen. So, so David, Saul was, was the here was Saul. He, he uh, went to do a sacrifice that he wasn't supposed to do. And when Samuel came, Samuel said, you have done a foolish thing. What did Samuel, what did Saul do? He transferred the blame. He said, it is because of who? I, do you read Bible? It is because of who? The people. I did this because of the people. Another man sleeps with somebody's wife. God sends pro a prophet to him and says, boy, you have slept with somebody's wife. I'm going to destroy your household. David goes down and says, Father, I am finished. Forgive me. Have mercy. Now, these are the two categories of people in church. You find a guy who always transfers blame for everything. The reason I stole money is because I'm in lack. The reason I, I slept with another man's wife or another woman or another man is because he's attractive. Instead of going before God and saying, Lord, I, I messed up. I blew it. I, I, I blew it completely. So I want us to start with the prayer of repentance. Listen, go before God. Lord, whatever will hinder my prayers in these seven days, let the blood blot it out. I come in repentance. I am not a perfect human being. There are things that I have done that I may not even know. And let me even tell you, you know, there is a sin of commission and omission. That means that there are sins, there are things you're supposed to do that you didn't do. You omitted doing them. And so we need to go before God in this before we begin any prayer and say, Father, under this atmosphere, we come with a heart of humility. And we say, search us, O God, and see if there be any wicked ways in me and show me mercy. You are more justified when you go before God in mercy. Two men came into church to pray. Jesus was telling a parable. And the Bible said, one thus prayed to himself and say, you know, Lord, you know how it is, how I am, have, I've done good things, I've done this, I've done that. But the other man came in. The Bible said, this man said, Lord, I am a sinner. Have mercy on me. And the Bible said, that one left more justified than the other guy who was praising himself. And so I want us in humility, go before God. Father, search me. Tonight, I don't know, I may not know, but some I know. Lord, forgive me. Have mercy on me. Cleanse me from all sins. The Bible says that if we say we have no sin, we make him a liar. Amen, somebody. But if we shall confess our sins, he is just and righteous to forgive us and to do what else? Cleanse us from how many unrighteousness? All unrighteousness. So I want us to go before God. You go before God in your prayer. Father, cleanse me. Heavenly Father, have mercy. Are we ready to pray? Go before God. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we come as individuals and we come as a corporate body. 
Lord, I bow my knees on this altar. And Father, we plead for mercy. We plead for forgiveness. Lord, we come before you, Lord, as people who know that, Father, we are still humans and we still walking in the flesh. Lord, that we have mistakes, sins of omission and commission, sins that we did intentionally, some we did not do intentionally, things that we are supposed to do that we did not do. Father, we come before you in repentance. We come, Father, and we ask you, O oh God, to forgive us. Oh, thank you, Father, that you are a forgiving Father. The Bible says, blessed be God who daily loaded us with benefits, even the God of our salvation, Selah. The Bible says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. Who forgiveth all our iniquities? Lord, I come before you this morning in repentance. Lord, I ask you to forgive me, Father. Forgive me, search me, O God Almighty, search me tonight. Father, forgive me of my trespasses. I repent of every sin of omission and commission. Every sin, O God, of the heart, of the thoughts, the sins, O God Almighty, of my actions, wrongdoings, mistakes, the things of, of O God, the words that were spoken out of my mouth, negative, unbelieving words. Father, forgive. Have mercy on us. Forgive me, Father. Have mercy, Father. Forgive me, O oh God. Cleanse me tonight with, from every form of unrighteousness. Cleanse me with your blood. Cleanse me, Father. Oh, I come like David said, creating me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, O oh God. Father, let your Holy Spirit, oh, search us tonight. Father, cleanse me, Father. As a ministry, we come before you. Lord, as a corporate body, as a, as a ministry, as House of Treasures Ministries, we come before you tonight and we plead for mercy. Mercy, Jesus, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God. Have mercy, Father. Forgive us of our trespasses. Forgive us of our sins, Father. Forgive us, Lord, whatever mistakes we've made. Father, whatever way we have neglected your word, we have disobeyed your word, walk in unforgiveness, in unbelief. Father, God strive, oh God. Father, we plead for forgiveness. Forgive us, Father. Forgive us, Father. Forgive us, Father. Have mercy, oh God. We repent before you. We ask for your cleansing. Let the blood of your son Jesus cleanse us from all sins tonight. Let the blood sanctify us tonight. Wash us clean with your blood. Sanctify us, O oh God, with your blood. Father, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. The Bible says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Father, we come by the mercies of God and we present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you, which is our reasonable service. Father, we worship you tonight. Thank you, Father, because you are a merciful God. Thank you, Father, for forgiving our sins. Thank you, Father, for cleansing us from all unrighteousness. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be God. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Let us go before God on behalf of our nation. I want us to plead for mercy for this nation. Amen, somebody. I want you to know that everything we do in this church affects South Africa. You are not hearing me. Everything we do in this church affects what? South Africa. And so, I want us to go before God in prayers and in repentance for the sins of this nation. It's so important. In 1 Chronicles chapter 21, I want you to see something as we pray. 1 Chronicles 21 verse 1. 1 Chronicles 21 and verse 1. Please give that to us. The Bible says Satan stood up against Israel. Who did Satan stand against? He stood up against Israel, but he provoked the president to number Israel. Whenever Satan comes to a nation, he will provoke the leadership. He provoked David to number Israel. Next verse. Keep going. And David said to Joab and to the rulers of the people, Go number Israel from Beersheba, even unto Dan. 
and bring the number of them to me that I may know it. Keep going. And Joab answered, answered, the Lord make his people a hundred times so many more as did they be. But my Lord, the king, are they not all my Lord's servants? Why then doth my Lord require this thing? Why will he be a cause of trespass to Israel? So Joab even tried to persuade the king to appeal to the king to say, please don't number the people. It's as if the guy knew that this was the hand of Satan. Let me tell you, when we don't pray, Satan will manipulate our leaders. Now, I want to show you the consequence of this action. Next verse. Verse 4. Nevertheless, the king's... Go to verse 4. Nevertheless, the king's words prevailed against Joab. Wherefore, Joab departed and went throughout all Israel and came to Jerusalem. Go to verse 11. Verse 11. Go to verse 11. Quickly. So God came to David and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Choose thee, number one, keep going, either three years of famine, three months to be destroyed, to be destroyed before thy foes, why the, that, that the sword of thy enemies overtake thee, else three days the sword of the Lord, even the pestilence in the land, and the angel of the Lord destroying throughout all the coast of Israel. Now therefore advise thyself, what word shall I bring again to him that sent me? Did you see the options that God had to give a man? All these things that David, David was provoked by who? Come on, talk to me. David was provoked by who? By Satan. But here are the consequences of David's mess to the whole nation. Look at the next verse, verse, verse 13. And David said unto God, I am in a great strait. That means I am torn between opinions. Let me fall now into the hand of the Lord, for very great are his mercies. But let me not fall into the hand of men. Next verse. Then so the Lord sent pestilence upon David. Upon David. Upon who? Did who sinned? Who received pestilence? Israel. And there fell of Israel. How many? Now, let me ask a question to this intelligent audience. What did the 70,000 people that died do? What did they do? Nothing. This is what happens. That's why when I say, I wanted to show you this scripture so that when we go before God in repentance for this nation, you are not doing it as an ad. ad why should I repent for South Africa? Hey, <laughs> when it happens, it happens to all of us. That's all I'm trying to say to you. And I want us to go before God. Father, show mercy to this land. Forgive us for our sins. We, as a nation, we have sinned. We are already, listen, this nation right now is in error. The fact that two men can get married and get marriage certificate, we are in trouble. And we need to keep pleading for God's mercy. Lest the judgment of God strike us in this nation. Are we together, church? So I want us to go in repentance. Father, forgive us. As a nation, we have sinned. Our leadership have erred. The people that are our lawmakers have erred. They've departed from the ways of God. Let us go before God in repentance. Say with me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come on behalf of South Africa. We come on behalf of our land. And we repent of our sins. Father, show mercy to this nation. Father, we have departed from your word. We have departed from your ways. Father, we have inclined our hearts to evil. Lord, we ask for repentance. We repent, oh God. We repent, Father. We ask for forgiveness. We ask you to forgive us as a nation. Lord, cleanse us, O oh God, as a nation. Let the blood of Jesus speak on behalf of this land. Father, for the sake of the righteous, do not destroy. For the sake of the righteous, like you said to Abraham, if I find 50 in South Africa, Lord, you will not destroy. 
let's go before God and begin to repent my father have mercy Lord Jesus mercy King of Zion the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords the righteous church father we come in repentance on behalf of South Africa as a nation and we ask for forgiveness father we have departed from the ways of God we have shed innocent blood father God Almighty we come before you tonight and we repent father for the sins of this nation for the sins of our leaders from the president oh God from the president to the parliamentarians to the house of assembly father to the people that are the lawmakers of this nation father we come in repentance on behalf of this nation father we ask you oh God to forgive forgive us father forgive us father you said if my people we are your people Jesus if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves father we have humbled ourselves in prayer and fasting today and oh God and pray and repent from their wicked ways Lord Jesus we repent of our wicked ways as a nation as the nation of South Africa we repent of our wicked ways oh God we repent we repent we turn away from our wickedness father have mercy Jesus have mercy oh God have mercy we have killed your prophets we have killed innocent the innocent we have shed innocent blood the blood of many innocent people are crying out from the earth of South Africa Lord we ask for mercy Jesus mercy my father mercy from this altar and from this house we plead for mercy Jesus have mercy have mercy we repent father we repent oh God we repent oh God let the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary let that blood speak for South Africa let the blood of Jesus speak mercy for South Africa let the blood that was spilled on the mercy seat let it speak for South Africa we come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy for this nation and to find grace for help in time of need father have mercy forgive us father forgive us oh God forgive us father Forgive us, Lord. We repent before you. We repent before you. We repent before you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. One more prayer. I want us to pray for our nation before we go into our own prayer points that we are here for. I want us to pray for our upcoming election. That the hand of the Lord will prevail. God will overtake all plots of evil. Every plan that Satan is planning from hell against South Africa will not succeed in this election. Let me tell you, I told you yesterday, keep this prayer in your prayer list every day. How long? Every day. Listen, church. Every change of government in a nation brings a change of climate. And you must know that. Every change of government brings a change of climate. When, when a government comes in, you will see, one of the things I was telling my younger brother in the United States when I was there, I, I, I said, you know, I, I still remember those years when I used to go to America 20 years ago, I would walk into Walmart and I will go and buy groceries and and I will fill up a trolley with $50. I went with my wife as I went now to go and buy her snacks, chips, cold drink, and it came to $134 in a plastic bag, one packet, $134. I took my younger brother and his family to go for dinner. We went out for dinner. The bill came out in a restaurant. Before God, I'm not lying to you. I paid a thousand dollars for that dinner. You know how much is a thousand dollars? Twenty thousand rents to eat dinner. What kind of dinner is that? Why? A change of government. And we want to believe God. Listen, we are righteous people. We are godly people. And because of us, God said to Abraham, "If I listen, 
If I find 50 people in Sodom, I will not destroy it. They even the negotiation went down as far as 10. And I believe that we can pray for this nation. That God, let thy will be done. In this election, let Satan not have an upper hand. Let the plan of Satan not prevail. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready to pray? Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we bring our nation, South Africa, before you. And we pray for the upcoming election. Father, we ask that you stretch forth your hand. Lord, intervene in our elections. My Father, let the plan of the wicked never succeed. Every plan that Satan has to buy this nation, to intercept this nation, Father, we rebuke the devil. We bind Satan and his agenda. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and open fire. In the name of Jesus, Father, oh God, we come before you, Father. You are still the governor among nations. My Father, we pray on behalf of this nation, South Africa. We come before you on behalf of our land. Oh God, we pray for this nation as we are about to go into transition, into another set of governance. My Father, we pray, oh God, for the election that the hand of the Lord be released. Oh God Almighty, there shall be no manipulation in this election. In the name of Jesus, I take authority and dominion over satanic agendas, demonic agendas, satanic manipulations against this election. Upcoming election in South Africa, I bind you in the name of Jesus. I scatter the plan of the wicked. I scatter the plan of Satan in the name of Jesus. Let the will of the Lord be done. Makate bolo, ekomondo, embrokoto, melika braketa mayante. My God, we pray, let thy will be done. Jesus, intervene, O God. Retoko beseke braka payada mandosa. Mande kele brekete kembele ketos. Ambre toko shada bala brande kete. Rate bale kabayada brande. Ababarando boko sombre kete legades. Bashata bayane monde kesoda. Le kabra de kose de brekete. Rata bayana managa bayada balagada. Le parada gabayada brande kete. Abre tokosko belende breketos. Rate bose ke brekete. You at home begin to pray. Pray for South Africa. Pray that the hand of the Lord will prevail over this nation. In the name of Jesus, we cut off the plot of the wicked. We cut off the plan of Satan. Every plan, oh God, to sell this nation to satanic agendas. Every plan from the pit of hell. Every plan from satanic quarters to sell South Africa to satanic agendas. My God, I curse that plan. I curse it to the root. In the name of Jesus. Shatter like a bow. Embrotoko zigele. Pareketem bekeligodos. Ambretoko sete breketos. Radabaya namande beleketes. Rete beliga braga bashanda baya. Arabada beleke brombokotos. Redobe seke brende kelegeres. Somebody pray. My God. My God. My God. The plan of the devil will not prevail. The plan of Satan will not prevail. My God Almighty. Stretch forth your hand over South Africa. Lord God of heaven. Lord God of heaven, we come as intercessors on behalf of South Africa. My God, oh Jesus, send your angels. Send your angels. Lord, send your angels. Lord, send your angels. Every plot against this nation, every agenda of the devil that to manipulate our president, our leadership, Lord, to sell this nation to unholy living, to ungodliness, my God, to satanic agendas, my Father, I thwart them today. I scatter today. I bind them today. In the name of Jesus. Shemendo balika brande, embrete kese ke breketos, rade baye ne meke te bragada, mande barade ke ye brande ketos, shata kapaya da balakata. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. My prayer is that this conference, Excel conference, God will use this conference to change the course of this nation. Say amen, somebody. That's our next prayer. We're going to pray. 
Lord, use this holy convocation. Because, listen, God will never do anything unless men ask him to do so. Are you here, church? Whenever heaven demands prayer from us, it means that God is about to interrupt things on the earth. And so we are going to ask God, Lord, that let this conference become a vehicle to change the course of this nation. We need a nation that is prosperous. We need a nation that serves God. We need a nation that there is revival. Where the fire of God will be all over the place. And we need that to break out through this conference. Let this conference become an agent of revival for South Africa. Are you here, church? It is possible. Do you believe it? It is possible. Elijah gathered some people on Mount Carmel. And that changed the course of a nation. Everybody repented at that conference. The whole nation turned to God. Let Excel become Mount Carmel. Are you ready to pray? Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray today for Excel Conference 2024. Let this become the point of reference for revival to break out in the nation of South Africa. Let a cell conference become our point of contact become your point of contact to change the course of this land to serve Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ open your mouth and begin to pray Father in the name of Jesus from the 28th from the 23rd of April to the 28th of April we are gathering in this holy convocation Excel 2024 Team the dominion mandate In the marketplace and in ministry Lord we pray Let this conference become A point of contact for heaven Oh God to interrupt This nation and send revival Let revival break out Let revival fire Break out from this altar Let revival fire break out From this altar My God let there be an issuance of fire From this altar that will change the course of this nation just like in Mount Camel where the whole of Israel turned back to the Lord let Excel Conference 2024 become Mount Camel in the name of Jesus Somebody pray. My God, my God. Use Excel Conference. Use Excel Conference to alter the course of this nation. My Father, turn the hearts of the people back to Jesus. Turn the hearts of this nation to Jesus. Father, we decree and declare that the heart of South Africa, the soul of South Africa, the body of South Africa shall be turned to the Lord in the name of Jesus. Rebada Bragada Yada Bragada Rada Bayada Bragadesh and Brekata Kale Bragadesh Mande Brekatosha Bragadesh. Somebody pray. My God, let the destiny of South Africa let it be altered. Let it be altered. Let it be altered. My God, the Bible says, I sought for a man to stand in the gap on behalf of South Africa and to make up the edge. Lord, you said you found no man. But today you have found us. My God, we stand on behalf of this nation and we issue decree in the realm of the spirit and declare that at cell conference we alter the course of South Africa in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to pray that God will give word to our guest speakers. 
Let God give them a word in season. I'm telling you, a word that will change everything. God still operates the same way he did in the Bible. Anytime God wants to do anything, he first speaks it. He will say it first, and then it will come to pass. So I want us to believe God. Father, give your word to every single speaker that will stand on this altar. Even those who will lead prayers. That God will give a word in season. A word in season. The word that this nation needs in this hour. The word that you and I need in this hour will come in this conference. Father, send us your word. Send us your word. Are you ready to pray that prayer? Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, send us your now word. Send us the agenda of heaven for South Africa and for the nations. Send it via your word in this Excel conference. Put your words in the mouth of every guest speaker. Put your word in the mouth of every speaker. Everyone that stands here to minister from the praise and worship. Lord, to the announcers. Lord, to the people that lead prayer. Lord, put your words in their mouth. In the name of Jesus, open up your mouth and begin to pray. I'm praying My Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God, put your words in the mouth of every speaker. Send us your word in this season. Send us the right word. The Bible says how possible are right words. My God, send us a word in season. In the name of Jesus, send us a word that will minister grace to everyone that will attend this conference. To everyone of it, everyone in this nation, send your word. Is your word not like hammer? My God, that breaks in pieces the works of darkness. Is your word not like fire? My God, send us your word of fire. My God, send us your word. Send us your word. Send us your word. Send my word in this conference. Lord, send me my word. Send me my word. Send the house of treasures her word. Send this nation her word. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 12. Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 12. Glory to God. I, wisdom, dwell with the prudence. And I find out knowledge for witty inventions. Knowledge for creativity. Knowledge for innovations. Let new things be birthed through this conference. New businesses. New ideas. Excel deals with the economy of the believer. Let new businesses blow out of this conference. I'm telling you, man, we need ideas from heaven. Father, we need loads of wisdom for witty invention. Wisdom for innovation. Let God send wisdom in this conference. People will, people will be sharing testimony in Excel 2025 that it was when I came here I started a bank. It was when I came here for Excel that I began a business nobody has ever started. I received an idea that nobody ever has. I'm telling you, church, it is possible. Are you ready to pray? Say, Heavenly Father, let there be a release of wisdom for innovation, for creativity, for witty invention in Excel 2024. Let there be a release of wisdom mighty wisdom of God for innovations, for creativity. In the name of Jesus, open up your mouth and begin to pray. My God, my God, Father, we pray for wisdom, for witty inventions. My Father, in Excel conference, let there be a release, a release of wisdom. Wisdom for innovations, 
wisdom for creativity wisdom for witty inventions in the name of jesus christ my father let there be a release of wisdom of heavenly wisdom of divine wisdom of godly wisdom of wisdom for innovation wisdom for creativity wisdom for witty inventions in the name of Jesus Christ Shetake balaga brata kapayada Rade baleke breketos Ambre teke seke brende ke legedes Rade baye ke brende ke liga brakata Shetake balaga breketos Labe de ke brondo korebe sombre de ke liarabada Maseke ye de brekete de brende ke de Shetake paya de brende ke ros Rande bele ke brende ke liarabadosa Mande ke rebe sopre de ke liga bragadose La pera ga baya da brande le rebe shati ele bere Rada ba 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 shataya Mande ko rebe sopre de ke le bere ke ros Rade ba de ke protoko se ke le bere My father, release of wisdom Release of the wisdom of God Let each and every one That show up in this conference That will hear the messages Let there be a download Of witty inventions My God of wisdom of for creativity, innovations, in the name of Jesus. My God, my God, thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want us to pray for souls for this conference. This year, we will see souls like never before. We'll see souls come to Jesus. That's the whole idea. That men will come to the saving knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want us to go to the book of uh, First Timothy that I read yesterday. I think it's chapter 2 and verse 1. If we can probably just... It says, I exhort therefore that first of all supplication, prayer, intercession, be, and giving of thanks be made for how many men? All men. For kings and for all that are in authority that we may lead a quiet and a peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. Next verse. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior, who will have how many men? All men saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. Father, in this conference, let all men be saved. Let all men come to the knowledge of the truth. Let there be an eye-opening spirit that will be in this conference that will shine the light on people's hearts. That by the time altar calls are made, everybody, people in the whole nation, people that are watching from Cape Town, from PPE, from, from Deben, every people will be rushing to the Lord even in their homes. You are not hearing me, church. I say God will have all men saved. All men shall be saved in this nation. We make a decree. All men shall be saved in South Africa. Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray, Father, for the souls of men in South Africa. We pray for the salvation of men and women in this nation. Let Excel become the conference that brings the heart of men back to Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, we pray for the salvation of souls. We pray as many as have received our flyers, unbelievers that are coming for this conference, men and women across the, of the nation, the length and breadth of this nation, that will be watching this conference across the nations of the world. We pray, Father, for souls, that men will come to repentance, men will come to the knowledge of the truth, men will come to the knowledge of Jesus, men will come to Jesus and turn from their wicked ways. In the name of Jesus Christ, Shepele go brande ke pele ke bragada, rabada gaya na managa bragada yede bragades, 
Mande braketolo brande gaberi arabada. Masse brakepelega brakatos. Embrete kese ke brande kelega bragade. Rabada yada brande lebe shamba lagada. Embra de bosom brakepelega brande kates. Embra feke peleke brandi avele mantelegade. Rada baya da bragada. Repa de kese brake peleke tos. Embro dose ke brande ke liga bragados. A brake tosom beki la ke nemende ke liga dos. A prokotosi ke brake peliga dosa. La peragada yada brande kete. My Father, in the name of Jesus, excel shall have harvest, harvest of souls, harvest of thousands, harvest of millions of souls. Oh God, come into Jesus. Mashele bariketosa. Maye debo shete brenega debe shandaya. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you praise, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I want us to pray one more prayer. This one is for yourself. You are going to pray on this dominion mandate. You will not die with anything God put inside you. Whatever God has placed inside you must manifest before you die. You know, the day I heard that statement from Dr. Miles Monroe many years ago, I was reading one of his books. I think it was, um, I can't even remember, something about purpose. But he said, and he said these words. He said, the wealthiest place on the earth today is not the gold mine of South Africa. I, I still remember his statements. It's not the gold mine of South Africa. He said, it is not the diamond mine of Congo. It's not the oil wells of Saudi Arabia, Iran, and Iraq, and Nigeria. He said, the wealthiest place on the planet today is the grave. Because people went with what God gave them to the grave. Nothing God gave you will die with you. I say nothing God gave you will die with you. You will empty yourself into this world before you go to be with Jesus. Are you ready to pray? Say, Heavenly Father, I, in the name of Jesus, I will not die with anything you have put inside me. Every potential, every gift, every talent, my God, that you are placed inside of me. Every treasure, I declare, I will empty them before I die. I will manifest them before I die. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and open fire. Mashata kabalada. Brekoto beleke brekete. Rete belika brande koshete. La parada yada bragada. Father, in the name of Jesus, every potential, every talent, every gift, every treasure, that you have deposited in the belly of Felix, in my spirit, my God, I command them to come forth. Let them break out. Let them manifest. I shall not be buried with any of my gifts. I will not be buried with any of my treasure. I will not be buried. My God, my God, my God. Embrete ke se ke legedos, ambrete ke se ke le bregedos, repado ke so preketos, ambarada gabaya na managados, embrete ke si kolobodos. Yes, you will not die with your songs, you will not die with your innovations, you will not die with your giftings. My God, let them manifest, let them manifest in this season. Let them manifest, let them manifest. I call them out. I call them out. Shemono moko pelo gozomende. Embrete ke beze ke bele mononde. Embroto ko shabala brenegedes. I call them out. I call them out. I call out every message you have given me to the nations. I call them out. Masopra ke pelegedos. Every wisdom you have deposited inside of me. I call them out. Amashabala komende ke brekete. Maye ke beliga brokotos. Every business you are placed on the inside of me, I call them out. I command them to manifest in the name of Jesus. My God, every ministry gift, every gift of the Spirit that you are placed on the inside of me, let them show up. I call them out. Maroko beleke breketos, embrete ke bejende brekete, rate valeke breni avele mantela. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. My God, you shall manifest. You shall manifest your gift. 
you shall manifest you will not die with your gifts you will not die with your talents you will not be buried with your treasure your treasure shall manifest i call them out now by the power of prophecy i call out every treasure inside of you i call out every gifts i call them out i call out every potential every talent i yank them out of your belly Rabababashata, out of my belly shall flow rivers of living waters out of my belly shall flow my God. My God. Thank you, Father. We give you praise and glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you believe God heard you, lift up your voice and give him thanks. My God, you will never be the same after this excel. You will not be the same after this conference. I promise you by the Holy Ghost, you will not be the same. Thank you, Father. Thank you because you are a prayer answering God. You said, call on to me and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Father, we give you thanks that you have heard us. You have answered us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We receive it with thanksgiving. We receive it to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name we pray. And the church say, Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. All right. Our fasting continues tomorrow. Amen. Don't, don't, don't look at your neighbor. Say, don't give up. Uh -uh, don't quit. Listen. You, you are carrying out an exercise that something is already from, from when we started this morning something is already turning in the realm of the spirit something is already happening it's already happening you know you must know how the realm of the spirit works when Satan wants to strike he strikes first from there but we are striking there I'm telling you <laughs> so tomorrow let's continue be here at 6.30 it's every day from now and on Friday is overnight prayers. We're going to stand here five hours of prayer sent to heaven. Aya, I look forward to that. You will send fire to hell. Hell thought they are in fire. The, the one they will see on Friday. Aya, get ready. Amen, somebody. Please keep this nation in your prayers. I beg you again, keep South Africa in your prayers. This nation, the destiny of this nation is at stake. And we don't want that to happen. We want God to have his way in South Africa. So we must keep our nation in prayer. As you pray in the morning, as you pray your noonday, whatever time you have or set out to pray, please keep South Africa in your prayer. May the Lord bless you and the Lord be with you as you go. As you go, all crooked places are made straight. May the angels of God go ahead of you. And may you sleep tonight like a baby and wake up like a lion. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow at 6.30.